Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma today inaugurated the centenary celebrations of the Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital at a function that was held at the hospital premises in the presence of Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong. Earlier, the Chief Minister hoisted the centenary flag. The hospital at present is a 350-bedded hospital with accident and emergency, general medicine, obstetrics and gynecology, psychiatry, orthopedics, child health, shield development unit, pediatric surgery, anesthesiology, dental, ophthalmology departments with speciality and super speciality including 24-7 services. The hospital also has a college of nursing affiliated to Northeastern Hill University. In his address, Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma congratulated the hospital on achieving the milestone and said that the occasion is also a time to acknowledge and thank the services of Dr. H. Gordon Roberts, who arrived in Shillong in 1913 and started with a small dispensary in Mission Compound, Shillong. The Chief Minister also recalled the days of COVID and expressed his gratitude to the hospital for its important role during the pandemic. He also informed that health sector is one of the most important priorities of the government. He urged upon the hospital to continue its mission in serving the people with love, compassion, commitment and passion. At the very outset, I would like to thank God Almighty, not just for this beautiful day that He has given to each and every one of us, but more importantly, for the blessings of Dr. H. Gordon Roberts, who was a missionary who started his journey and the journey of this hospital hundred years ago. And I don't think when this journey had started hundred years back that Dr. H. Gordon Roberts would have ever imagined that we all would be here hundred years from then. Today, celebrating him, celebrating God and celebrating the wonderful work that this hospital has done for the people of Shillong, of this region and for the state as a whole. We look back at the way Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital has contributed to our society. And I take this opportunity on behalf of the citizens of our state to thank all the doctors and staff of the hospital, not just the present, but even those who have in the past contributed and worked towards making this hospital what it is. This is a moment to look back. This is a moment to thank Almighty. This is a moment to thank all those who have contributed to making this hospital what it is and for the numerous contributions that all the different members have made to society, especially to the people of Shillong. I was very, very pleased and happy to see that the governing body and the staff and the team at uh, Roberts Hospital 
has not just remembered to celebrate the last hundred years, which is very important, to look back and see what they went through, improve on things that may not have gone the way they planned. But what is most satisfying to see today is that they have already planned for the next hundred years. And that is a true sign of a visionary organization, a visionary mission, a visionary team that not just celebrates the past hundred years but says that we are here today and we are going to get there in the next hundred years. And I think I appreciate and I really congratulate the team of Lovers Hospital and the entire Presbyterian Church, the governing body, for having had that vision today. I'm happy to tell you that they met me, the governing body met me. And they've put in a plan to have the Elixir buildings to expand the hospital in the next many, many years to come. A project worth over 50 crores has been planned. And this is made most probably just the first phase because funds are not easy to come by. But they have a plan to see where they would want Robbers Hospital to be there in the next hundred years. And with this plan we are moving forward, I want to assure the governing body that the kind of work that you are doing, we as a government are there to support you in every possible way. The project that has been put in is a project we will have to move with different central agencies to fund a big project like this of 50 crores. And I can assure you that myself, our Deputy Chief Minister, and the entire government, including officials, we will support this project. We will move this project to Delhi. We hope that we will be able to get necessary funds, even if it means in a phase-wise manner, to be able to see that this new project of the Elixir building and the extension of the hospital sees the light of day.